In this video, I'll be discussing linear equations and how to graph and write equations of lines. Determining the slope between two points, there are two different ways that you can find the answer. One way is by graphing it. To get from one point to the other point, you're determining how far up or down you go and then how far right you go. So to get from this point to this point, you would move up three and then you would move over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So rise over run would give you three over seven. The second way to do it is using the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If this is x1 and this is y1, this would be x2 and this would be y2. So to use the formula, you would be four minus one on top divided by 4 minus a negative 3 on bottom. 4 minus 1 is 3, and then 4 minus a negative 3 gives you 7, because two negatives give you a positive number. Graphing a linear equation, the best way to do this is for slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope, b is your y-intercept. So to graph this, this is our slope, and this is our y-intercept. Now. Always graph your y-intercept coordinate point first. One represents the fact of where it crosses the y-axis, so put a coordinate point there. Your slope, remember, is rise over one. Two over three means you would go up two, and then you would move to the right three. Connect your coordinate points with a line, and that will be able to give you your graph of your linear equation. Do not forget, you always move to the right. If this was a negative slope, you would have moved down two and then to the right three. Do not move down and left because that actually will cancel each other out, giving you a positive slope. So make sure if it's negative, you move down, but always move to the right. To write a linear equation, the first step is to first find your slope. So we are going to do the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So between these coordinate points, it would be 11 minus 7 on top and 2 minus 4 on bottom. 11 minus 7 is 4. 2 minus 4 is a negative 2, so your slope is negative 2. What you're going to do next is you're actually going to plug your slope into your y equals mx plus b equation. From this, you're going to choose a point. So second step is choose a point. And what you're going to do with that is you're actually going to plug this point into your x and y. So I'm going to use 2, 11. I'm going to plug 2 in for x because that represents my x-coordinate. And I'm going to plug 11 in for y because that represents my y-coordinate. So 11 equals negative 2 times 2 plus b. To solve, I'm going to multiply. And then to solve for b, I'm going to add 4 to both sides, which will give me 15. So my final answer is going to be y equals negative 2x, because that is my slope, plus b, which is 15. Intercepts. There is a y-intercept and an x-intercept in a graph. A y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, which means your x value is 0, because along this entire y-axis, all of your x-coordinates are zero along this entire y-axis. So therefore, your x value is zero and it crosses here at three, so your y-intercept will be three. Your x-intercept is along your x-axis and your x-axis means that your y-value is zero, which is why you would have a zero. And in this case, your x-axis or your x-intercept crosses at six. Horizontal vertical lines. Any horizontal line is going to give you a slope of zero. Think of a person walking along a straight path. They are not having to walk on an incline. They're not walking on a decline. They're walking straight across, so the slope is zero. And all horizontal lines are going to be the form of y equals whatever the y value is. And in this line, it crosses at four. So this is the equation y equals 4. It's not a number, it's actually an equation, so it needs to be y equals. So again, all horizontal lines 
uh, y equals whatever the y value is. Vertical lines actually have an undefined slope. You can think of it as a, as a, um, as a rhyme. Vertical line, undefined. So if you think of a person who tries to walk along this line, they are going to fall off the cliff, you could say, because they can't walk on a vertical line. They will fall. And so all undefined slopes are going to be the equation x equals, and then in this case, the x-coordinate is negative 5. That is where it crosses the x-axis. If you notice, it doesn't cross the y-axis at all. It only crosses the x-axis, which is y. The equation is x equals whatever that number is. So again, horizontal line has a slope of 0 because you can walk on it. Vertical line is undefined. Think of a person falling to their death. That's not good. So it is going to be x equals your x-coordinate. Parallel and perpendicular lines. All parallel lines are going to have the exact same slope. 5, 6, 5, 6. So if you were to graph these, Think of it as y equals mx plus b. It crosses, this line crosses at negative 5, so you would put a coordinate point at negative 5. And your slope is 5 over 6. So you would go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you would go over 6. And then you would connect your coordinate points. This equation crosses at 1 on the y-axis. And then again, your slope is up 5 over 6 and you'll connect your two points in the same way. And so those two lines will never cross because they have the exact same slope. Perpendicular lines are different. They cross, but they actually cross at 90 degrees, which is why they're perpendicular. So in this case, if you notice the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. See, oh, I think reciprocals, reciprocals. I'm not even sure how to spell that. Reciprocals, maybe, of each other. So if one slope is three-fourths, the other slope is going to be the opposite sign, and you're going to flip it. So three-fourths becomes a negative four-thirds. So you would graph this equation. You would cross at negative five first because of the y-intercept, and then you would go up three and over four and then you would draw your line. In this equation, you would start at 1, but the slope is a negative 4 thirds, so you would go down 4, and then over 3, and then you would draw your line, and these two lines cross at 90 degrees. So perpendicular lines and parallel, you have to watch the slope. Parallel lines have the same slope, Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, let's write an equation that goes through a certain point, but it is perpendicular to this equation, y equals 2x minus 10. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to find the perpendicular slope. So... Take the slope of this equation, which is 2, and you need to find the perpendicular slope to it. It's a negative reciprocal. So if the slope is 2, then your perpendicular slope is going to be a negative 1 half. Remember, you've got to take the opposite sign, which is why it's negative, and you have to flip the number. 2 becomes a 1 half. Second step is you're going to use your coordinate point. So the perpendicular slope is negative 1 half, and so I'm going to rewrite the equation using my new slope. And because we have a new slope and we have a very specific point that it goes through, b is going to become different. It's no longer going to be a minus 10. We're not sure what it's going to be, so we're going to have to plug in this coordinate point into x and y. So my x value is going to be 4, my y value is going to be 7, and we're going to solve. So we'll get 7 equals a negative 1 half times 4 plus b. So negative 1 half times 4 is a negative 2 plus b. And to solve for b, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and I get 9. So therefore, my final answer is going to be y equals my new slope is negative 1 half x 
and my new B is a plus 9. So the only thing we are wanting from the equation that we are given is the slope. We need to take the slope, we need to find the perpendicular slope, and then we will be able to get our new equation. This minus 10 is not needed at all. We are only needing the slope from this equation.